we're not going to have as many wild swings. John from California, you reached out to me to get a desktop video analysis of a set of four townhomes in the Cleveland market. John, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, John, number one, my man, thank you very much uh, for reaching out to getting the desktop analysis. Um, I've seen you comment on several of the YouTube videos. Uh, I recognize your photo uh, from your, your Gmail account, uh, which is the same photo you've used on some of your uh, YouTube comments. So you've been watching, you've been commenting. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, for everybody out there that's watching, number one, you're watching this uh, probably a couple months after John actually saw this when I make these video analysis. I don't want you to be able to come in and snake John's deal as he's paying for the analysis. So John, you're going to be watching this probably two months before anyone else on a private link. Um, but when it does get launched publicly for everyone else, for everyone else who's watching, uh, there are no bad questions on YouTube. You know, if you have questions and you, you see me on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, uh, don't think that you're bothering me um, by asking all those questions. Any and all questions you guys have, you know, I want them, man. Go ahead and just post those uh, on the comments. Even if it's not directly related to that video or that post, <clears throat> I'm more than willing to uh, work through your questions with you guys. You know, if there are things I could answer quickly in a uh, quick paragraph or something, I'm always down to do that right there. Uh, if they are longer, require a lot more in-depth analysis, you'll need to purchase an analysis product like John did here, or we can even do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, so, you know, that's what John did. He's posted several comments uh, throughout the, uh, you know, last several months, you know, small stuff, but now he's really looking for an in-depth analysis. Uh, you know, John, going into your email here, <clears throat> just quickly highlighting some of the things you said to me. Uh, so you do have a high paying job uh, out in California, okay? You are an accredited investor, but you've never actually directly purchased any real estate yet. You've been uh, investing in funds, uh, which just so you know, John, Holton Wise, we are gonna be coming out with our own fund. We're gonna be making it available to accredited and non-accredited investors. Uh, so keep watching the YouTube content for more information on when that fund is launching, if you'd like to get your money into that. But for now, you're thinking about making your first you know, direct ownership purchase uh, through a HELOC, that's a home equity line of credit for uh, those of you who are watching who've never heard that term before, HELOC, H-E-L-O-C, stands for home equity line of credit. That's essentially you got equity in your, at the house you live in and uh, you're pulling out a bank using that home as collateral. Uh, so you've got access to $300,000 uh, from that HELOC. <clears throat> and you also have excellent credit and you got high W-2 jobs. So, you know, getting more just isn't going to be an issue for you. Uh, you did set up an LLC in case you need it, but you're trying to get the conventional loans. Uh, so with this particular property, yeah, you're not going to need your LLC. You're going to be able to utilize conventional loans. Now, I know um, one of your concerns with this property is it's not technically a four-unit apartment building. They are four townhomes, um, but that does not disqualify you from getting that conventional loan. I, I think you're under the impression it would. It will not. Now, <clears throat> a conventional loan is good for one to four units. Um, what you have here is, is technically, it's, it's more or less like four single-family homes. Uh, each one of these townhomes is on its own parcel. So we may run into an issue getting you one conventional loan for this property, but technically speaking, you could set this up as four separate transactions because we have four separate parcels. So like, you know, legitimately you could sell like one at a time. Uh, so we can still get you into the 30-year loans with the 25% down. We may have to use four separate purchase agreements and four separate loans to get it all done. 
but it's going to amount to pretty much the same thing. Uh, getting back to your <clears throat> other things in your email before we get too deep into the property. Uh, generally speaking, you're looking for you know two to four family buildings. You're looking uh, for basically B class or better. And then that's how you came up with this property here, 4821 Bridge Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. So this is the four unit building, you know, and this is, this is a really nice building, man. Uh, you know, each unit is essentially three floors, three separate floors. You have your upstairs, your main floor, and then they have their separate basements. Uh, three of these units are occupied. One unit is vacant. As far as the neighborhood hitting uh, your goal of being at least in a B neighborhood, uh, you've actually hit a freaking home run uh, on location with this one, man. This uh, right here. Now, when people look at Cleveland, you know, they think of the revitalization, right? We think Ohio City, which is right here. We got Detroit Shoreway, which is right here. Tremont, right here. You got the flats over here. This is all downtown. So this is an awesome awesome neighborhood this right here is essentially an a-class neighborhood like you got a lot of really trendy stuff like over here you know we got platform brew co like this is just like you know an incredibly trendy area so this is an a-class area so as far as the area itself you are hitting a home run my friend as far as the property, it is priced at six hundred twenty-four thousand nine hundred. So you're definitely paying for that neighborhood. Now, currently, it's occupied by three tenants, and one unit is vacant. Uh, going through the pictures here, this uh, is, you know it's a nice old brick building built in nineteen ten. Uh, it's going to need some work um, to get the rents to where I want them. Uh, the listing agents on this one, two guys from McKellar Williams, they gave me the rent roll, which I got for you here. Okay. Now, like I said, <clears throat> they're individual properties. So, you know, more or less, I consider 4815 uh, Bridge, you know, it's its own property, but I'm just going to call that Unit 1 and 4817 Bridge, I'm going to call it 2, and 19 will be 3, and 21 will be 4. Uh, this is the rent roll that I was provided by them. They broke it down annually, um, but there's actually not a tenant in unit one or 4018 bridge anymore. So that's now vacant. And that's the one that we have the pictures of. So I'll get back to those pictures in a minute. Unit two, that one is rented for $1,006.25 a month. Unit three is rented for $922.50 and unit four is rented for $1,125. Going back to the actual listing, here is what we have at what I would call Unit 1, which is technically 4815 Bridge. As you can see, it's, you know, it's got hardwoods, right? It's pretty nice. They're nice hardwoods, but it's, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing like super special. Um, we're going to want to do some serious upgrades to this to max out what you can do with this investment. Like if you look at this kitchen, Normally, I would say, whatever, man, this is a pretty gnarly kitchen. This is fine for like a B or C class rental. I mean, we got white cabinets, everything's clean, uh, but this is not going to cut it for what I want to do with this rental, what I think the best use of this rental is. Like these floors, they look pretty beat up. These walls, they're ugly. And, you know, this woodwork is nice, but, you know, I think white is just going to be so much more trendy. And like the biggest thing that we got to look at here is this bathroom dude this is not going to fly like look at this floor like that old floor and just this crummy one piece uh tub shower combo like that is not impressing anybody like that toilet seat doesn't even look like it's original to that toilet and that toilet's like freaking 40 years old uh so screw that uh quickly going down into the basement though nice fresh clean basement and as you can see we got a pretty new furnace um that's a, that's a nice new furnace. Actually, if we go back to the uh, <clears throat> rent roll they showed me, they gave me a little bit of information they had on the building. So that unit, that furnace was installed in November 2017. Uh, we also got another furnace in February 2018 at Unit 2. Um, and then uh, Unit 3 or 4819 Bridge. You know, recent year, they don't remember the exact date. Same thing with Unit 4. They don't remember the exact date, but they're pretty darn new. And then we got two new AC units uh, in this building, too. 
Um, but going back to this, right? So I'm gonna go back to the kitchen and the bath here. Like, what I wanna do, we, we gotta go high end, man, right? The current rent roll, 1,625, 92250, 1,125. All those rents are actually lower than what we could be doing here. What I'd like to do, I would like to go into this investment and I would like to put $20,000 into this vacant unit. Now, I am assuming based on the fact that those rents are pretty low in the other three units that we can expect a similar level of craftsmanship and updated uh, look and feel to each of these units. Um, would I recommend we go in and remove all three of those tenants right now? No, because those are still pretty high rents. But if we take this unit and deck this sucker out, we put, I would want to put about $20,000 into this unit. And I would also want to do that to the other three units at a natural turnover. I'd like to put 20 grand into this unit. Doing that is going to give us a monthly rental income of about $1,500 a month. We could theoretically get $6,000 a month out of this building, but we gotta make these things look nice. So we do the normal stuff, we're going through, we're painting the walls agreeable gray. I wanna whitewash all the trim. We're gonna go with a nice white trim. Those hardwood floors, we wanna put a nice dark stain because they were a little scratched up, you know, you can kinda see, uh, you know, they look a little rough, right? And plus that color that's not like super modern right now. But we go with a nice dark coating. And then in the kitchen and the bath, that's where we got to spend the big money. Like this, if this was like a B class or C class rental, this would be acceptable. But this is not going to be acceptable for the type of quality tenant that we're looking to get here, the type of tenant we're going to attract, you know, that high income earner, the kind of people that are living in this unit you know, they're, they're, they're living for the proximity to all the action, man. Detroit, Shoreway, Ohio City, Tremont. I mean, we got a brewery over here. We got the West Side Market right here. And you're right here, man. You're downtown, Whiskey Island, Lake Erie, the flats. Like all the action, man. That's what, what these people want. And uh, they will pay for that, but you have to give them high quality stuff. Now, I ran the comps just to give you an idea of like what people are paying and what people are doing. Like these comps here, these are quarter mile comps last six months, right? Whenever you have a densely populated area like Cleveland and you pull comps, uh, you want to do a quarter mile radius over the last six months. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six sales on the low end, 202,000. These are all single family homes, by the way. 215,000, 289,000, 293,000, 321,000 all the way up to $332,000. Going with the lowest end property, okay? This was the cheapest comp, right? Because remember, yours is technically like four single family homes. You know, they're attached, so you're not gonna get like probably 300,000 a unit like down the road or anything. Um, but that just shows you like the type of neighborhood we're working with, you know, the amount of money that's in this area. So this house, this kitchen right here, that's a badass freaking kitchen, dude. Like that kitchen right there is the kind of kitchen that we need to give to your tenants, right? We got to normally too, just so you know, I normally I do not suggest we put in dishwashers and, uh, you know, usually I actually advise my clientele to remove the dishwashers and I do not normally want you to put in appliances. But with what we're aiming for here, we are catering to like a totally different type of a tenant that uh, you normally see Holton Wise target. Like most investors, most guys like you, uh, they come to the Cleveland market and they're looking for that B class or that C class. They're looking for that like extreme cash flow. You in your email to me said, you know, in exchange for a more quality property, a higher end property, you want to go to a much better neighborhood. You're not worried about that like extreme cash flow or anything like that. You want something quality. And that's what you've picked out here. Um, so to get like that tenant, that $1,500 a month tenant, you got to wow them. Uh, and that this is the type of stuff that's selling in the area here, right? Like look how beautiful this property looks like. You know, that the shower right here, you know, that's pretty nice. Like that shower, that like crappy ass uh, one piece, like it's, it's old, it's grimy. Like we got to give them something totally fresh, totally new. Like this is the type of look we're going for here. Now, obviously, we're not going to have those, you know, the hardwood's not going to look exactly like that because we're finishing the hardwoods. 
but this is the look, this is the feel. And we can accomplish that with about $20,000 into the unit. And I'd like to do that into the other three units as well, but over time, we don't need to kick everybody out. So just breaking the investment down, like I wanna give you like an analysis of like what you can expect to earn while you own this. Uh, so like we have a total reno of 80K uh, because I want you to put 20,000 to each unit to fully optimize the earning potential of the building. But don't think that that means like I want you to just buy it right now and then just spend 80,000. No, I want you to do this slowly. So let's assume you picked everything up at list price, 624,900, and then factoring in the four renovations, one you should do now, the other three you do over time, we're all into the renos, 80,000. So we're all into this investment for $704,900. What type of money are you gonna be making if you're all into this thing for $704,900? Well, like I said earlier, you're gonna be able to rent each unit for $1,500 a month. So you'll be able to bring in at its full operating potential, $6,000 a month or $72,000 a year. Now, as far as factoring in your costs, you're gonna be pretty happy with this. Your costs are gonna be a little bit lower than you are used to seeing me talk about because you've got a much higher quality property, a higher quality tenant. You know, long story short, I mean, these, these people, they're just, they're more qualified, they're not destroying things, they're not breaking things, they're not getting evicted very often. Like, the people that live in these neighborhoods and afford stuff like this, like $1,500 a month in rent, it's a pretty decent chunk of money. Um, and again, you, they're, they're picking these properties solely for the location, right? So these are folks that, uh, you know, they're just high quality folks, right? So repairs and maintenance, I typically average that out to 5% of the rents. You could reasonably cut that in half, right? These kind of people, they don't really break things. Vacancy and not payment of rent, you can cut that in half as well for my normal estimate of 5%, just 2.5% of the rent. So 150, 150. CapEx, it's an older building, uh, so you're still gonna keep that the same. So you're looking at 300 a month there. Taxes uh, per the MLS listing, 8,448 a year. So that's 704 a month. Uh, insurance, you're gonna spend, you know, around uh, 800 bucks a unit. Probably since we're doing all four, maybe a little less, but roughly around 800 bucks a unit uh, for the year. So that's 250 a month. I do $75 a month for water sewer estimate. So you're looking at 300. Your lawn care is gonna be 42 bucks a month. Assuming there's grass to cut. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of grass here. Um, so we gotta cut all this stuff. So yeah, we got grass, we gotta cut. Uh, we cut roughly about 16 times a year. It's every 10 days or so for like probably eight months of the year, I think. It's over the course of the year, averages out to 42 bucks a month. And then PM, your PM fees are lower. Um, even though you're bringing in $6,000 a month in rent, we typically charge 10%. We cap it at a thousand bucks. Uh, we cap it at 100 bucks a month, rather, right? So uh, your PM, it's going to be $400 a month. Truth be told, the higher the rents, the easier it is for us as a property manager to actually deal with that tenant base. Uh, a lot of people, for whatever reason, uh, they think as the rents are cheaper, the tenant base is easier to deal with. Uh, couldn't be more far from the truth. So 400 bucks a month there, so you're getting a nice little discount because of the quality of your property. So you're bringing in 6000 a month. Your total expenses are going to be $2,296 a month. You break that out over a year, you're bringing in $72K a year. You're spending $27,552 a year to operate this sucker. So it's going to leave you with a net operating income, your net return here. You're going to be making, putting in your pocket, $3,704 every single month or $44,448 a year. Now, that's an estimate, okay? Uh, things don't always go exactly as planned. You have your highs, you have your lows. Uh, but with what you have here, you know, we've got an A-grade property in an A-grade neighborhood, okay? So your highs, your, your highs and your lows, they're gonna be less dramatic since you're in this really, really nice neighborhood. I'm trying to get you back to the Google view here. Here we go, the area view. Like since this neighborhood is just so nice and uh, you know, the quality's so high, 
You know, we're not going to have as many wild swings. Like, it's very, very rare that we're going to be evicting people. Like, when we're screening your tenants, you know, we're going to see, like, incomes above 50 k a year. We're going to see credit scores, you know, up into the $700 range. You know, you're going to have tenants that are, you know, college educated, right? You're going to have degrees, right? So we're not going to, like, run into the tenants doing too many crazy things. Like, I don't anticipate, like, a lot of tenants from hell content coming out of your ownership of this building. So even though that... 44,000 is an estimate. Uh, since you're in such a nice neighborhood, you're less likely to deviate from that. Now, what's that going to mean for your overall numbers? I broke those down for you too. Remember, assuming we put 20K into each of those units to get you all the way up to that 1500 a month uh, in rent for each of the units, total invested, if you bought it at list, 704,900. Your NOI, 44,448. That's a cap rate of 6.3, right? You had spoke about possibly doing uh, some bird deals or getting loans. Uh, so if you did end up getting loans on this, uh, and you know when you're done with all your repairs, you refied it out. If we got it to appraise at seven hundred four thousand nine hundred, you'd have a mortgage now of uh, five hundred twenty-eight thousand six seventy-five, which breaks down to a two thousand six hundred seventy-eight dollar. Uh, a month mortgage, right? Your down payment, the amount of cash you need to keep into this deal would be much less than your 300000 that you have available through that HELOC. You'd only need 176225 of your own cash into the deal. You know, if you uh, take all of your expenses and then you add this debt service into it, you're still, at the end of the day, going to put $1,025 a month in your pocket or $12,303 a year into your pocket while those tenants are working to pay off your gigantic $528,000 mortgage. That equates to a cash on cash return of 7%. Now, here is the cool factor, right? Like that's that's pretty conservative. I don't like to give you guys like, oh, you know, buy this property, you're going to make millions and millions of dollars. I don't like to give you guys like extreme best case scenarios. I like to go kind of conservative when I do these analyses for you. Um, but I think there is some serious upside to the numbers I've given you, right? Going back to my comp list, okay, looking at these single families, 202,000, 215,000, 289,000, 293,000, 332,000. This one's a new build, though. That's totally new build. So that's, that's really, really optimistic. Even like just going with this, this lowest value one here, the $202,000 one, the one who I really like the kitchen and I really kind of am going to mold what we do to your property based on this. If this thing appraised uh, <clears throat> for what you have into it, that's appraising for $176,000 a unit. Looking like this, you know, our lowest comp is $200,000 a unit. So if we get this thing to appraise anything north of that 704,900, which is very, very possible based upon our comps, you know, anything that you can get above that 176,000 a unit, that's gonna allow you to do a really successful burr where you're less than 25% down. Like you're less than 25% of your cash into this, right? You know, anything you can get above that 700, 4,000 is going to come right off of your 176,000 that you got stuck into the deal. So if it appraised for, you know, this 200k unit, you know, they appraised the sucker, you know, all four of them together at 200k a unit, we got, you know, the new appraised price to be a total of 800k. That means they're going to loan you $600,000. Okay? So that's essentially what is that? That's an extra 72,000. So instead of 176,000 into the deal, you're like what? 104,000 into the deal and then you could do the numbers from there your cash on cash would be insane if you assuming you ended up at a hundred and four thousand dollars into this deal we take your same net cash flow after mortgage so that's after you pay for all your expenses after you pay for everything that's the money you're putting in your pocket that twelve thousand three hundred three thirty six if you took that amount based on what you got into the deal, you know, that takes your cash on cash. It's going to vary slightly because I did not go back into an amortization calculator and change the exact amount of debt service to account for the additional 72 grand in mortgage payments. Um, 
but just ballparking it, you know, because this number brings us at 11.8% cash on cash. So accounting for that, you're probably, you know, around an 11% cash on cash return if this sucker appraised for our lowest comp. So price per unit, you're sitting pretty, man. You are sitting good. All other single family homes in the area, right? Much higher. I keep going back to this one because it's like the lowest one I want to give you the conservative estimate, 202,000. But again, we got one at 215, one at 289, one at 293. You know, let's just cruise through here. This is another uh, new build. Okay, you know, similar look, similar layout, you know, kind of like this long layout. That's what I'd like to see you accomplish with your property. These are, you know, the looks that we're going for with your property to attract these high quality tenants. Let's go take a look at the other one. Here's another one. This is an older one that was renovated. All right. Just, you know, again, you see the white, the white trim, nice darker floor, the grayish color. You know, super important that we do nice tile surround around those tubs. You know, we're not going to get away uh, with that, like, one piece. It just ain't going to happen. You know, beautiful kitchen, right? We got to get people the stainless steel stuff. I'm talking microwave, dishwasher, stove, fridge. I don't know, like, what's going on with this particular listing, if there was a fridge included or not. But as you can see, you know, super high-end stuff. What was in that house is just not going to cut it uh, for what we're going to do um, to get all that high-end stuff. So, John, I want to thank you uh, for you know reaching out to me, getting this analysis. Uh, this is listed by two agents over at Keller Williams. Um, if you'd like, you can make the offer through Holton Wise. Uh, simply send an email to sales at holtonwise.com, or if you want, you can go direct through them. However, you want to handle it. You know, you now have all of the information at your disposal uh, to make an informed decision. This deal, in my opinion, is absolutely James Wise approved. You can pick it up at the full list price. Now, I think you should try to negotiate a little bit because it's been on the market. It's been on the market for 73 days, and it was originally listed at 650000 So it just came down $25,000. So that tells me they're ready to move this thing. So you could try to negotiate a little bit, um, but I don't think you're going to come in and, and like pick it up for a crazy steal off the current list price. Because as we've gone over here with all these numbers, uh, if you pick it up at the list price and you do $20,000 in renovations to each of those units, the thing equates for a really good and stable long-term investment, which in my opinion covers pretty much every one of the goals that you've laid out for me in your initial email. So again, if you'd like to buy this property, Holton Wise, we would love to help. You could shoot us an email. If you end up going directly to the listing agents themselves, that's totally fine with us. Whatever you want to do uh, to take this one down, you know, we are happy to handle that management and that renovation for you after it closes. Or if you'd like, you could take this information and, and you can go to whichever property manager you prefer. Uh, it's totally your call. You know, that's what these analysis are for. Completely unbiased advice from me, a guy who's running a $50 million portfolio in the Cleveland market. But again, John, solid deal. 100% James Wise approved. I wish you luck with this deal. Thank you for purchasing an analysis. If anybody else out there is watching this, I am the number one seller of rental properties in Cleveland. If you click the show notes below, you can go ahead and get added to my daily email list. I will send you a video tour and analysis of all the properties I am selling every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But there are more realtors in the Cleveland market than me, even though I'm the number one seller. There's over 5,000 realtors in this market. And you may see other opportunities like my man John did here, property listed by another brokerage. Uh, but they might not be able to give you all the information that investors like you need to know about the property. Most realtors, you know, they're focusing on the traditional residential real estate model, you know, driving clients around, looking at drapes, that kind of thing. A lot of them aren't really, you know, used to working with investors like you guys, you know, investors out in California, investors in Oregon, you know, they don't have the full turnkey solution like we do here. So that's why I offer this analysis product. 
Again, if you're not John and you're watching this, this is probably two months after John actually watched this. I would never allow you to come in and snake John's deal based on the analysis he purchased. But after the transaction does close, I release these out publicly so everyone could see them, so we can all get better, we could all learn. So if you haven't done so yet, go to holtonwise.com, go to the for sale tab, and you can see some of the analysis products that I've done for other clients like John, just like this one you're watching right now. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. The price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.